Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I got Gabby here. Gabby, what are you doing today? Are you happy? No. Why are you not happy, Gabby? Because I have to do uh, turning fractions into percent and percents into fractions. I think she's turning percent into fractions and back again. And it's not been her favorite lesson by far. Anyway, she's working hard on that. And I've been doing cleaning. Sophie is getting breakfast. Um, she's almost already done her work for today. It's 10.30 in the morning. Which is not fair, so yeah. I'm not writing. Right, well whatever, we'll talk about that. Oh. Anyway, we, um, she is almost done her work for today. She's having a breakfast break because she started before she ate breakfast, right? Yeah, but we ate all of our kinder things. Yeah, tell them what happened. Um, we were going to eat our candy for today. And Mom said, eat, eat them all. So uh, basically their advent calendar has been driving Gabby crazy and every single night she's been saying, why don't we just eat them all? We yeah, just need to eat them all. But we always do that. I don't remember that we always do that. Last year. I have to look back and see if that actually happened. Okay, no, then next year we uh, have to eat them all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so the advent calendars are finished. They ate all the candy, now they're done and we're still not at Christmas Eve. Anyway, I'm headed to the bathroom this morning and the girls tell me that I'm not gonna be able to use the bathroom. So this happened. Some of these snowmen look a little grouchy. Yeah, I like this one and this one and this one. And then our toilet is covered in wrapping, in wrapping paper. Did you ever see that jumpy? Alfie. We never decorated our bathroom. We don't usually decorate our bathroom, so I guess this is Alfie's way of saying, hey, you gotta decorate the bathroom. I want him tomorrow to decorate the door again. Oh, last year at the beginning of the season, our elf decorated our door, our front door, and made it into no, a snowman. Our basement door. Our basement door, and he cut snowflakes out of paper and decorated our house, and it was so pretty. I wish he did that this year. And he used up all the rest of the wrapping paper. Our elf never cleans up on after himself. Let me know in the comments below. If you have an elf, does he clean up after himself or does he just make a mess and leave? I have been systematically trying to clean every room of our house. This morning I did the girls room and the upstairs and got it all cleaned. I have so many things left to do before Christmas and Christmas is only five days away. But we have our big Christmas celebration with our family on the 24th so we only have four more days. Anyway, all the stuff I've been cleaning, this was one of them. Ruby had her Christmas bath. And guys, look. A uh, true toy that we that we got from a subscriber. She's been playing with it before. Watch now, she's all frisky. <laughs> Super frisky. <laughs> Isn't that funny how dogs do that? They get all crazy when they have a bath, but she got all clean and freshened up. She looks like a new dog. <laughs> this is our very first year Christmas with Ruby. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see how you are on Christmas. I bet you she plays in the wrapping paper. Even though she's two and a half years old, almost three years old actually, and she's still like a puppy. And Cookie's over there, jealous as can be. She's like, what's happening? Why is everybody being so nice to Ruby? Does she look jealous? <laughs> she has such a baby face. All right guys, we're at the Hearst Barn and we're gonna film something special that you'll see maybe in a couple days. Or maybe you won't see it. Who knows, depending how good it turns out. Hey, is that Spencer? Uh-oh, trouble in paradise. I see Spencer here, but no Sabrina. Hey, where's our girl? Look at the sun, isn't it beautiful? Apparently, she's not want to come today. She's just being super stubborn. Oh my god. Look at her kick. Kicking. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, get away from me. She wants to go back with her honeys. Yeah, go off and get the whip. Every few times we come to get Sabrina, she's like, I'm not going. And I know it's just because she wants to stay and do her own thing and she doesn't think that we're gonna make her, but we're gonna make her because we have no choice. Sing, sing to her. 
Come on, Sabrina. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to walk a horse that doesn't listen. Right? Jingle bells. You're okay. You're okay. It's not scary. It's the same walk. You're okay. Sing. Let's all sing. Come on, Sam. Jingle bells, jingle. Smell. <laughs> Gabby can control her. You can even ride her. She's our sassy red-headed mare. Scared. Our scared red-headed mare. She's such a chicken, you guys. She slipped on the ice. No, she actually full on slipped. Yeah. Almost she, fell slipped. Yeah. Ice Bridge. is not fun. Bridge. Bridge. Seriously, Mom? Oh, it is winter. Winter in Canada. You're so much trouble. It's a good thing we love you. How could you like horses, your friends, better than you like us? We give you treats, they give you nothing. So basically at our barn, I never really talked about this, but the girls are allowed to ride whenever they want. So if there's a lesson in progress, they're still allowed to ride, which is super cool, but we've never taken um, the opportunity to do that because we feel bad. I'm like a feeling bad kind of person. Like I don't want to impose on people because I'm happy all the time. Like I'm happy doing anything. And so today, Gabby was like, let's go ride Sabrina. Even though Fiona has lessons tonight, she just wanted to ride. And I was like, you know what? Let's just try it and see how it goes. And so yeah, there's a lesson in progress. And Gabby is just gonna ride Sabrina and get some extra practice time in on her. Are you I, gonna ride Sabrina? I want to, but I don't want to during the lesson. Yeah, it's awkward. But Gabby knows all the rules, like what to do when people are riding and when to go to the side and I don't know that stuff yet. Sabrina, you took your earplugs out. Oh, you put it in? Yeah, she has shuffle. Oh, Sabrina, no treats yet. After. 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 Close your eyes. Alright guys, so I'm in the heated area because it's freezing and Laura is riding now and she's gone on her big winter coat and I hopefully she's warm because she's got her helmet on and a hoodie watch this and you see she's got a helmet and a hoodie That you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow, but who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. To the fire in your heart and your soul Don't quench your desire in what you can't control We fly, we fly Try so hard to get there and we Still letting go It's 
takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end Where are you going? Are you cantering? Are you cantering already? <laughs> That's a good canter there. <laughs> Almost. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering, before you make it safely to the end. Nothing wrong with a little thunder There's things in life you simply need to know About sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end There's things in life you simply need to know but sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering and Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end mm -hmm. Before you make it safely to the end The end Keep my cool But when you're near There's nothing that I can do When you're walking in I know it's true I, it doesn't even matter How hard I try Cause when I hear your voice Gabby, you cold? You're not cold? Gabby, you're cold? You're not? Nobody can bring us down, bring us down. He's gonna run over. He's gonna come through. He's gonna run me on over. Now you never have to worry about who you're going to ride ever again. So I guess you're going to ride the camp. Our little friend Kaylee from the barn. Just got a horse. 
for Christmas. Her parents bought her a horse for Christmas, and we just happened to be at the barn. The barn was filled with all the people that love her, and she walked in for her lesson, and her pony, her horse, was just standing there with his bow And she on. cried. Yeah, and she was so happy. She just started crying, burst into tears, and then I teared up, and her mom, and it, it was just beautiful. It was amazing. It was she just, said, I'm quitting skating. I'm done skating, because she does figure skating as well. <laughs> anyway, it was so amazing to be a part of that. Did you so, you, guys you guys already saw the clip. I might put the clip in. If you guys have already seen it, then I put the clip in, but it's not really our clip to share, is it? Who cares? But I'm we gonna videotaped make it. it. So we, we did. I'm gonna make right. No, I'm, we're sending it to her. Too, I'm gonna make so. a little video of it with some music and make it pretty and Gabby, and send it to her. Anyways, we got comment of the day, and I'm really liking this trend where we pick a question of the day and we answer it. So Charlotte Hunt says, "I'm so happy Gabby is taught to grab mane. It's so important, so you feel confident and don't hit the horse with a bit and punish them for doing something right." I have a question for Gabby too. Do you still feel do you still feel like you're hitting the pummel when you jump? If not, how did you fix it? So, do you still feel like you're hitting the pummel? Pommel and no, mom. So how did you fix it? Uh I just um I just felt like jumping without mane and like I basically uh, um, instead of hitting the pommel in my stomach, which kind of hurts, um, I leaned forward or back. I forget which one. That's but, kind of important. <laughs> no, I think I leaned a little bit more forward, so that is just the same. I just leaned a little bit forward when I landed, and then I was fine. I didn't hit the pommel. I hope that helps you, because that does not help me. But I'll probably lean that. back soon, too. And... Releasing blue and I'm riding it tomorrow. Right. We are trying to get in two really good days of riding and hanging out with friends at the barn. Something different and something new. And so Gabby is going to be riding blue tomorrow. And Sophie's going to be riding Sabrina. And I'm going to be riding nobody. You could ride Tex. <laughs> yeah, the new horse is called Tex. Wait till you guys see him and meet him. He is so He's beautiful. He's so pretty. He's my dream horse. He's and not prettier than Sabrina because he has two colors. Yeah. I He's a pain. Yeah. Ah! I love uh, Sabrina though. With the no, big booty. No Gabby, horse is ever going to be more pretty than <laughs> Sabrina to me. But anyway, that is it for today. I um, hope you like this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Stretch out. Bye. Sabrina has extra along here. Never mind. Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.